everyone. My name is Justin. I'm the lab manager here for the Labit. We're so excited to have you working with us and helping and doing some important work. However, we want before we get you started, we want to make sure you get a nice tour of the lab and a general overview of safety. Safety is a top priority for us. Before you even walk in, you'll notice over here there's a little nice board that reminds you of the dress code. So we want to wear uh, long pants and closed toed shoes. No shorts, no sandals, no tevas. I know it's hot in the summer and I know it's fashionable, but safety is more important than fashion. Also, no food or drinks in the area. Uh, it's really important that we keep our area clean and keep you safe, not getting your food contaminated. To get into the lab, you need your ID. Your student ID is your access. Just hold it over this thing, the light will turn green and you can open it up. Okay, this is the dish room. Anything that we use to sample water in here after we've done with it goes here to be cleaned. On, the, on this side of my room is where we put all of our dirty stuff. On this side is where we keep things that are in the midst being cleaned and or are already finished being cleaned. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, Nick, what are you doing? I'm just cleaning the dishes. This is a drying rack for clean things. My because we don't... Clean? Can no, no, hands are always dirty. We want to make sure we keep our clean things clean, not dirty them with our gross fingers. Oh, look, there's Gatorade up here. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. That's pH 10. We use that to calibrate some of our Y size. Please do not drink anything you find in the lab. Over here is industrial water. If you drink it, it will make you sick. DI and NanoPure are a bit safer, but they're also tasteless and nutrientless. So please don't drink it. <laughs> Up here is a protocol sheet. This will help you how to clean everything in the lab. If you have questions though, please reach out to somebody, especially the managers. No questions are bad. No questions are bad. So to remember, if you're touching dirty things, no gloves are fine. However, once things are clean, please wear gloves. Just opposite of the dish room is our clean room. This is where we keep some of our analyzers and we do a lot of our data analysis. It's called the clean room for a reason. We don't want to contaminate it with outside things. So no soils, no bulk plants or seed samples, no food or water, uh, not a lot of personal items. We want to keep it sterilized. Especially this is important to wear long, long pants and closed toe shoes in here. Yo, Nick, what? Did you not read the sign? Oh, no, this is the clean room. room. I forgot. Oh gosh. So here's some of our analyzers. Over here, this is called the Aqualog. It measures uh, absorbance within the water. Oh yeah, I was working on that earlier today. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Where are your gloves, man? Oh yeah. <laughs> Forgot again. It's important that when you run any of the analyzers, you're wearing gloves. We want to keep all of our samples clean and free of contamination. You can find any gloves in this drawer in the clean room. So in addition to our Aqualog, we have our scan, we have our IC system, and we have our TOC. All these analyzers measure different things, and once you get trained on them, you'll learn better at what they do. Samples are often kept in this fridge, or frozen in the fridge. The second refrigerator keeps standards or chemicals that help us maintain the machines. Because they're chemicals, they need extra safety. Please, please wear gloves when you handle these. Do not rearrange. If you take something out, put it back in the exact same spot. And if you are using the chemicals personally, it's important that you wear safety glasses and a lab coat so you don't get burned. In this room over here is something called the autoclave. It's a big industrial and extremely hot a piece of equipment that we use to sterilize and disinfect some of our sampling bottles. We'll give you a show. Nick, really? This is a really dangerous um, instrument. So there's a specific training on how to use an autoclave and how to clean autoclavables. Um, so before you use this, you need to have that training and a manager or Ben will direct you to that training. If you need something that needs to be autoclaved, please talk to one of the managers or Ben and we'll get it figured out.
Over here is our acid bath. This is where we have hydrochloric acid that we use to clean our glassware. It's important to do so to disinfect it properly. As you know, hydrochloric acid is an acid, so it's highly corrosive and irritating to the skin. As does, we need to use proper PPE. Nick, what? Are you listening to me? P PPE? Personal protection equipment. Mm. So you need to wear the basic latex gloves, which he's only wearing one of them. Button up my jacket, put on Good. my gloves. He did wear a lab coat and he did wear safety glasses almost all the way. <laughs> put down my safety goggles like so. And then we're gonna put on these big old gloves here. Good. The gloves are important because they go all the way to your forearm to protect your skin. Fume hood helps protect you from some of the fumes of the acid. It's important that you only raise it to your arm's length, so you keep your face covered and safely from the glass. When you're using the acid, just do so carefully and with caution. Make sure you're only putting glass in there. Plastic will dissolve in the acid. If anything, this glass breaks, very, very important. Please put it in this box that says broken glass. Do not put it in the trash. If it goes in the trash, it can cut the bag and cut whoever's carrying the trash out. It's kept right next to the rubber gloves and the hum fume hood. This is our general area of the lab. This is where we have counter space that you can do different things. You can lay out dishes to be cleaned here. Um, it's a multi-purpose area. It's also where we store some of our sampling bottles that we use and other equipment. Field equipment is kept in these bags. In it, there are different chemicals and um, tools. Just use common sense, be careful. Don't touch anything sharp. Over here is an oven. As you know, ovens are hot, so just use precaution. If you ever need to get anything from a high place, we do have a ladder. Please, please do not try to stand on rolly chairs. Uh, that's an accident waiting to happen. Okay. These cabinets are full of chemicals. They're put there in a orderly and systematic fashion. So if you take one out, please put it back in the same spot so, no one, so someone knows where to get it next time. You shouldn't be needing to grab any chemicals unless a manager or Ben asks you to do so specifically. The last room we'll show you is the break room. So this is, a, this is a shared space with some other labs. It's a space where you can eat, where you can chat with others, or you can use a computer. Let's take a look. Feel free to come in here if you wanna have lunch, talk with friends, catch up, or do study or homework. If you need to use a printer, we have so. And back here is some more of our computers. Um, where we do some of our data analysis. This kitchen area is for us to use. You can heat up your lunch, you can store food in here. However, courtesy and respect go a long way. Please don't leave food that's super old. And if it is yours, label it or take care of it. We don't want raw and expired food and we don't want anyone to eat it and get sick. Okay. Safety glasses are here. Lab coats for use are here or you can bring your own and gloves are all here. Okay, so for any minor injuries such as a cut or a burn or anything else like that, we do have a first aid kit kept in this drawer right here in this little bag. If you do get hurt in the lab, we do have some measures to help you immediately. Anytime you use an acid, you do have the chance of getting some in your eyes, on your skin, or in your mouth. Over here is an eye wash station for when you do get it in your eyes. And if it gets all over your body, we do have a shower. You can pull around and pull the handle. Before we finish our tour of the lab, it's very important you know that we take your safety, your quality of your work, and your care of your work very seriously here in the lab. It, we're a big family and none of us are out to get each other. We wanna help you and we wanna help you be safe. We all make mistakes. So if you do get hurt or you do get injured or you do break something or you don't know what to do, just reach out. When in doubt, reach out to a manager, reach out to Ben, we'll help you out. It is very important that if you do get injured, you do notify Ben or a manager. Thank you.